The past few months have seen the global economic crisis push the issue of climate change into the background somewhat. But for one school in Indonesia, protecting the environment is the very reason it's open. It's called Green School and it's an experiment of sorts in training the next generation to be the stewards of the planet. Indonesia correspondent Gavin Fang reports. Hidden within the jungle in central Bali sits Green School. Just by looking you can tell this isn't your average place of learning. Instead of concrete classrooms, open-air bamboo buildings sit nestled within the trees. Green School is a seed, a school-centred community in nature in Bali. The idea is sustainability. The idea is a minimal environmental impact, a small carbon footprint. It probably has the smallest carbon footprint of any school ever built. Construction on the school began 18 months ago and is still to be finished. The school's central building, called Heart of School, is being built almost entirely of bamboo. In fact, just about every part of this school is either bamboo or mud brick. There's bio-friendly toilets and school lunches are made from food harvested on the campus. It's all the creation of jewellery designer John Hardy and his wife Cynthia. But their ideas go beyond just the physical architecture. The couple believe that children are the key to saving the environment and it starts with their education. I believe that children need to experience the physicality of greenness. Teaching green in an unsustainable concrete box may not be all that effective. We felt that it might be possible to take a new step, combining holistic education and an environmental model. More than 100 students from 17 different countries, including 20 Indonesian scholarship holders, are now studying at Green School. From tiny kindergarten kids to precocious high schoolers. Eugene Walensky moved his daughters from Australia to go to Green School. I think it was a recognition that we're all dealing with a host of environmental issues that really do need a slightly different way of, of being tackled. And obviously fundamental to that is through the education and particularly the education of our kids. So that really was the hook. It was about coming to a school where there was an obvious connection between the school, the infrastructure, the structures and the environment and that was instantly very appealing to us. Green School's philosophy is in part based on some of the controversial ideas of 19th century thinker Rudolf Steiner, who believed that learning should combine elements of the artistic, practical and theoretical. The school also draws from American professor Howard Gardner's theories that intelligence isn't just something that can be measured by IQ tests, but is made up of many different abilities, like being talented at music. But what does that mean in practice? We need to produce generations of people who think about things differently, are willing to look at things in different light. And that's what Green School is all about. It's getting a blend, it's combining the essential skills that these kids are going to need to go through the system, particularly in English, math, science, all the way through, from the youngest kids all the way through. Um, and then blending in this green curriculum, so evolving a curriculum from nature studies to ecology to environment studies to sustainability, that flow. Many Indonesians are lucky to even get a basic education. Almost half don't finish high school, often because there's no place for them to go. The government's goal is for nine years minimum education for all children. International schools favoured by expatriates like Green School 
are out of reach of all but a few Indonesians. But Ronald Stone says Green School can play a part in improving the national education system. Part of my dream is having a teacher's professional development centre on this site, not just for international teachers but for Indonesian teachers. Um, coming not necessarily to learn green courses but to be in this environment and by a process of osmosis ask the questions and see, hmm, we could do things like that. If green school seems a bit unconventional, that's probably because it is. The school admits its teaching philosophies have yet to be tested, but it hopes that its curriculum will evolve to be in line with the International Baccalaureate program, which is now widely accepted as an entrance qualification for university. And the proof of whether the ideas here work will be whether the children the school turns out succeed. I like it because it's so different to any other school in the world and that I like that they have a, a different way of teaching you and you learn something new that you don't learn other places. Everyone's really friendly and it's really like learning in a kind of chilled way. And all the build is with bamboo and this is so cool. It's eco-friendly. Yeah. Yeah. Green School is already an ambitious project, but founder John Hardy is not slowing down. The school has big plans, including finding a way to harness the nearby river to power the whole campus. And it wants to expand with new schools both in Indonesia and in other countries to expose a whole generation of children to its green message.